In this video, we're going to tie a fly called the Foamulator. It's a blend between a stimulator and kind of a foam hopper or stonefly. First thing we're going to do is start with a 5212 dry fly hook. And then we're going to take some golden brown deer hair here. Let me pull off a few strands here. And uh, you can use any type of deer hair body. Deer hair seems to be readily available in kind of this golden color. And we're just going to drop those fibers in our stacker here and even up the tips. Try to get them as even as you can. There we are. And we're going to tie in a tail. It's pretty short, about quarter to a third of the length of the shank of the hook. So I just kind of roughly measure out on my shank of the hook here. And I usually like to kind of trim them to length. And I can just go ahead and tie them in without all the flaring and the mess. So I'll just take my thread here. I'm using some 14 knot Vivas orange thread. My tail's a little long. Let's try that again. I misjudged it. No big deal. We'll just take it and give it another trim. And we'll try it again. I just kind of spiral my thread back at first pulling on the deer hair tail, so keeping it nice and even on top of the shank of the hook. And then I can just bite through that deer hair on my way forward. Now the next thing we got to do is tie in the ribbing. For that we're going to just use some extra small copper wire. I'm going to tie that in right along the side of the shank of the hook. Nice firm wraps. There we are. Now we're ready to tie in the first of our body material, which is going to be some gold 2 millimeter foam. We want to take a strip and cut it so it's about the width of the gap of the hook shank and then we're going to tie in kind of a kind of a butt so I'm just going to take my thread here and jump over that foam and pull down fairly tight there and I'll take a wrap to the shank and then I'll jump up again pull down nice and tight make another wrap to the shank and all I've done is I've kind of tied in a little foam butt there and now we're ready to tie in our dubbing. I'm going to use some golden brown ice dubbing for the body. And you just want a little bit to get it started. And I want to make sure that I get all the way underneath all this foam. So I'll just kind of make some wraps up close against that foam. Use a little bit of wax to help that ice dub really hold to the thread. And just kind of cover up all those thread wraps. And you can work your way forward. Just apply a little bit at a time. We're going to take our thread about three quarters of the way forward on this fly. So I'm going to kind of stop about where I tied in the tail there. Right about there is good. Now we're just going to take our wire and our foam here and I'll just kind of wrap the wire over the foam and put it in my materials clip to just hold it and get it out of the way. Now the next material is going to be the body hackle 
For that I'm going to take a whiting high and dry rooster cape feather here and a brown and just tie that in there right up at the head. I'm going to take that feather and just palmer it back down the shank of the hook here. Nice even wraps just kind of spiraling back all the way back to the foam. Then I'm going to take my wire hold up my hackle feather and just grab it underneath there with my wire and then I can wrap that wire forward by kind of biting through that hackle making sure the hackle is secure and it's not going to come undone on me. Once I get to the head here, I'm just going to capture that wire. I can spiral the wire out of there, trim it out. Then I can trim out my hackle, get under there as cleanly as you can, and just trim your hackle out. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this foam. I'm just going to kind of brush all the hackle out of the way, take the foam, pull it forward, do a loose wrap of thread, and then bite down with a couple more little tighter wraps. And I'll wrap underneath and bite down with a couple more tight wraps. Then I'm actually going to take my thread and I'm going to wrap up over the foam until I get to the eye of the hook. And I'll spiral back. I want to make sure this foam stays centered on top of the shank of the hook and you can trim out any trapped fibers that you might have and then I like to trim my foam just a little bit there just to kinda keep it manageable and keep it from getting in the way now we're ready for our next material which is just a tiny bit of flash this imitates the fluttering wing of a stonefly. So I'm going to take some pearl crystal flash. I'm going to take six strands. You can use more or less depending on your taste and what you like the looks of, but I found six strands seems to be a pretty good amount for this fly. And then we're just going to tie those in right on top of the shank of the hook. Take it all the way back to the foam, and you can just kind of let them hang there. Now the next material is a little strip of web wing in yellow. We want it to be about the same width as the foam that we tied in. Then I want to round the end of it, which is what I'm doing right now. Kind of like a little, the end of a little wing. And then we're going to take this web wing and we're going to tie it in so that it's the length of about the tail. Maybe a little shorter in the tail, a little longer in the body, kind of in between those two lengths. And I'm just going to take it and bite down with my thread, trying to keep it centered right on top of the shank of the hook. You can trim that web wing out of there. Then we're going to trim our flash. I want it to be a little longer than the web wing. Just kind of want it to stick out and sparkle a little bit. Just like that. <laughs> Alright, now we're ready for our overwing. That's kind of the underwing. For that again we're going to use that golden brown deer hair in a fairly generous clump this time. Again drop it in your hair stacker. And 
and get those tips as even as you can. There we are. We want our wing to be about the length of the underwing, maybe a hair shorter. I just want those tips to just kind of brush against kind of the end of that tail. I'm going to take that whole clump, trim it to length. What I like to do is kind of pre-bend some of the fibers here. I'll just kind of take some of these fibers and pre-bend them with my finger. Then I can capture all of them at once with one loose wrap and gradually kind of tighten down. And you can take that whole wing here and just kind of pre-kink those fibers. This will help this deer hair to lay down. And I made it a little too long. Let's try that again. I tend to make it too long when I tie in my wings and my tails. It's better than too short because you can't add it back once you cut it off. So we'll make it just a hair shorter. Let's try that again. pre-kink those fibers. There we go, and that helps that wing from poofing too much. And if it keeps kind of flaring on you, the next step will help lay those fibers down a little bit. Next material, we're going to take some McFly lawn or some kind of polypro yarn, any type of white yarn will do the trick at this point. I'm going to take a fairly thick little clump. This is going to be what helps you see this fly, also helps it float along with the foam. So I'll take a little generous clump of the yarn. And I'm going to tie this in so that it's fairly centered on the hook. Right on top. This will help that wing lay down as well. And before I let the wing intermix with that yarn, I'm going to take it and just trim it. about half or less the length of the wing. And I have some butt ends here from that yarn on accident. I'll just trim all those out of there. There we are. Now we're ready for our legs. I'm going to use some grizzly barred rubber legs in yellow. I'm going to tie these on each side of the fly. And I'm going to take my thread forward, binding these legs to the head. And I'm going to stop just short 
of the foam. I want to leave a little bit of space in there to help those legs face forward. Then the last material is going to be some Grizzly Hackle. I should say the second last material. We're not, not quite there yet. I want to take some Grizzly Hackle that's slightly oversized. I'm going to tie that in right at the back of the head here. Trim out the stem. And now for the last material, which is going to be some red ice dub, just to finish off the head. You can also use orange for this fly as well. I'm going to apply this pretty sparsely, just a little at a time. You really got to be careful you don't overdo it at the head here. We're in our last step. You don't want to just pile on too much material. I'm going to pull those front legs back and out of the way. And just place one thin strip of dubbing in front of them. Now I'm ready for my hackle. I'm going to take that grizzly hackle, make my first wrap kind of right up against the body, then spiral it forward with a couple wraps. And then I'll take one last turn right up against that foam. Then I can capture it right up against the foam with one, two wraps. Then I'm going to pull the foam forward. I'll lay down a couple wraps underneath that foam where I'm going to finish off the fly with my whip finish. Kind of have to pull everything out of the way and just sneak your thread under there. Probably one of the trickier parts to the fly. Then you can trim out your hackle. Trim your rubber legs so that they are longer than your body just by a hair at the end here. So I'm just going to take them and push them together. Trim them. Then I'm going to trim the front ones a little bit shorter, but I'm still going to leave them fairly long. Just they're going to be a hair shorter than the back ones. And you can manipulate those legs so they sit kind of where you, you want them to sit on the side of the fly. And fluff her all up. And that is a finished formulator. Oh, I forgot, I gotta trim off the end here. I'm gonna leave just a little bit of a lip. And that actually adds kind of a little bit of wake to the fly when it's kind of skirting in the current. Makes it look like a, a stone fly that's fluttering in the water and struggling to get to the bank. That's what this uh, color imitates is a, a golden stone fly. But great pattern. Floats high, easy to see, good profile on the water. That is a finished foamulator.